going on everybody? Blaze it here coming at you with another Naruto Shinobi Collection Showcase. Alright, this time we're going to be showcasing finally the birthday of Naruto. I said I was going to get around to doing it and I finally got around to doing it. Now, uh, before we get into it, this is the gear I put on them right here. Like I said in my previous live stream, um, I was looking at other people's gears they put on this Naruto to try to get a good idea of what I should put on them. Try to like, you know, kind of copy off and see what they're doing. But um, this is kind of the gear they had put on them, and I was wondering why they hadn't put in all his um, exclusive gear on them, like the Naruto cookie and all the other stuff. Come to find out the Naruto cookie only does something for a certain amount of turns, and then after that I think it goes away. It's not as useful as I would like it to be, nor does it really fit this Naruto as much as I want it to. And um, I assume other people felt that way too, because based off of what they were using on their Naruto, it was pretty much looked like this. So I took the hand shields off of the um, left arm hand extermination Sasuke. I took the uh, Sage Energy. I think it was either on Hashirama or on another Naruto. I took the um, Leaf Village Metal. And then I took his Rasengan that gives us skill damage and HP and attack increase of 150%. So this is the gear I put on this Naruto. I recommend running this gear on him. But if you got some other better gear or some better ideas you'd rather have to put on him, then you can go ahead and do that too. I put this on him. This is the highest I get his speed. I could probably get his speed higher if I uh, switch his free ability from um, cast speed plus one to something else on the list. I could easily do that because I got like a um, yeah, I got like five or four of these fucking pill things. I can uh, trade for them in the shop later. So I'm not even gonna be worrying about that too much. But uh, let's get back into it because I told you guys what he did on the um, summon video. But um, since we're on a showcase video, let's get back and tell you guys what he does real quick. Let me switch over here because I'm too lazy to go to my computer. Uh, his first skill is unique. It's massive Rasengan path. It's fast. Shot cost is 80. What it does is deal 3% plus 10,000 to all enemies. It'll deal more damage the more allies slash enemies are alive. The max is 10 times with a 5 allies and slash enemies. Chance to cancel. Positive special state. That is a really good ability. Really broken. And um, the only part about it I don't like if I had to, you know, nitpick what I didn't like about this Naruto is the fact that it, um, it's one of those abilities where um, it depends on how many characters you have left alive. Like, uh, you know, enemies and teammates. I really don't like those kind of abilities because if you're in a hard event like a Kage mission or that Kage event that comes out to get the guy league gear, you you might not have too many teammates left standing after that mission. So it, it's like the Naruto gets weaker as your team loses. And that's the last thing I want. I would rather the, the least amount of teammates you have left, the uh, more your damage increases. You know what I mean? I don't like stuff like that. But uh, that's enough rambling on that. Second skill is unique. This is my way of life. It's fast. This shock costs 80. What it does is he recovers 100,000 HP and a tremendous amount of chakra to all allies, which kind of makes this Naruto a better, um, you know, supporter than the Kushina or equal to the Kushina for the simple fact that she does the same thing. Actually, I think she heals like less health than that. Actually, I think this Naruto heals like even more health because she has a tremendous amount of chakra too. But I don't have the Kushina, but I have this Naruto, so I'm going to definitely be running him in PvP. Um, back to what I was saying. Let me restart over. He recovers 100,000 HP and a tremendous amount of chakra to all allies. He'll grant the path state to himself and the bond state to allies. In the path state, his speed gets buffed by 150%. Skill damage plus 200% per turn. The max is 1,000. In the bond state, skill damage gets buffed by 100%. Cast speed plus 1, which is really fucking good. Chakra cost reduced based on the number of allies alive. Max is 100%. I feel like this Naruto was meant to be run on the team with the godly Minato and the new Kushina that came out. Um, but I didn't pull them, as you can see from the summon video. Kushina, I really didn't even summon on. I kind of just threw a single ladder to see if I can get her, but nah. And then the Minato, you guys saw, I got pretty shafted pretty hard. What was it, like 200 stones deep that I was saving over the course of a few months that I just kind of went down a drain trying to get them? Yeah, that's what happens when you try to summon on godly banners. Let's get on to this abilities. His leader skill is a hero's path. Intellect type attack is getting plus 100%. Ability 1, container of love and bonds. When HP reaches 0, he'll revive 3 times. For 2 turns, his skill difference is buffed by 100, not 100, but 500%, excuse me. Uh, ability 2, successor of the will. Maximum chakra plus 150. Cast B plus 1. And he's immune to win. Sage, tell B, 6 path skills when his HP is above 90%. And which is going to be pretty easy seeing as if you take other healers or you take gear that gives you health back after every action or stuff like that he'll pretty much keep his health above 90 percent all the time and he's pretty fast and his cast speed is on flash yeah you shouldn't have any problem keeping his hp above 90 percent that way you can keep that immunity to the skills that he uses mostly in the show 
Now, um, gear and okay, that's just um stuff like that. We already know what gear I put on. Let's flash back to the game. Bet. All right, back in the game now. We see what he did. My free ability is the fucking uh, cast speed, and this is what his stats looking like. I probably get his um, stuff over a thousand. Had I had the um, other Kage mission gear, we can kind of fuse the two gears together to get a better gear. I probably get his speed to over a thousand. The homie Shinobi Blazing, I think, did that and got his speed over a thousand. So I'm thinking about doing that. But if I do that, I don't know what gear I'm gonna switch out. But without any further ado, let's get into this right here. This is the team I'm gonna be using. It's probably not the most optimal team, but I want to take the guy lead Naruto to get his uh, skill damage and attack uh, boost of uh, like 100 or 150 percent. And then I'm taking two of them, of course. And then I'm going to take a full Naruto team because I just kind of wanted to run a uh, full Biju mode Naruto team. Kind of like a fun team idea, you know. See what I can get. And then we're up against a whole bunch of Sasuke's. So this team just kind of fits. We're going to have these Naruto's do their second skill. They're going to have my Naruto just sit there and go off. Yep, and he crits in this mission too. I forgot to mention that he crits. So we're going to see some high numbers. Now, um, after this, I may try to run him with Darui and a bunch of other units to try to see if I can get their, um, see if I can cut defense and see what that would look like, see if it was that much higher or what, but let's see. Get these numbers up. Boom! All right, turn that off. Woo! Boy! Y'all see them fucking numbers. That's what a crit, too. Them nice red high numbers. That's what, exactly what I like right there. That's exactly what I want to see. All right, perfect. I wish there was a harder event. I'll, actually, I think the God Orb mission is up. But I don't want to take reduced damage. I kind of just want to see what kind of damage Naruto can do when he doesn't crit. Because the majority of the time, he's not going to be critting. I think he crits in the pain event. I think he crits in this one, too. I'm not entirely sure. And I think he crits in the Shima home cooking mission, too. I don't know. Let's see. I'm curious to see what numbers he can do when he doesn't crit. See, like, what gear did he put on him? Oh, he put some basic ass gear on him. He didn't put nothing special on him or whatever. I stopped to look for no reason. I'm really curious to see what he can do because most of the time he's not going to be critting. So don't count on those red high numbers all the time. Let's just see what he can do. Is that a fucking rock? Okay. Yeah, yeah, you, thank you. you this is... That's, that's just amazing. I'm fighting a fucking rock. Okay. This rock better not... This rock better take hella damage, too. I'm gonna be pissed off if you don't. Alright. We're going back over there. Let's see what this dude can do. Fighting a fucking rock. Are you serious? Boom. Alright, let's turn that off. Seven million? That's not bad. Was that seven million? I could see the damn smoke clouds are covering the numbers. It looked like it was about seven million. That's what it looked like it did. I can't see. If I took the nine away, or was it seven hundred thousand? Might have been what the fuck it was. I don't know. I couldn't see the damn numbers. The fucking cloud shit was in the way. I hate when they do that. But like I said, this Naruto hits pretty hard, man. He hits extremely fucking hard. He does great support. See, what, what would he be like with the Minato on the team? Because the Minato would be even faster then. Because the Minato already gives a cast speed plus one with his free ability, with his leader skill. And then mixed in with Naruto's second skill that puts everybody, gives everybody an, an additional cast speed boost. Naruto makes the whole team faster. I can make some interesting teams with this Naruto, man, because there's a lot of characters I have that are on fastest simply. Or I could take some cast speed gear off and give them to another unit. This Naruto opens up the possibilities endlessly. And speaking of which, how hard can he make this Minato hit? I know Minato's attack and stuff will go up later as the battle goes on because his stuff does um, activates later on. He kind of does like a this turn he does this, this turn he does that, and the next so on and so forth. So I'm interested to see what Minato could do just with the first hit. Oh, okay. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Not to mention that attacks AoE, so... I'd be pretty interested in this. This Naruto is so good, man. He really is just going off. This Naruto is just shit, man. What's this? Oh, it's a little side story thing? Oh, that's cool. I don't know if I'm going to run that Darley mission. I just... I'm just feeling like such a chore. Because these missions are open right now. I probably should max the Darley. Put some respect on his name. 
I just don't feel like it because I'm an asshole and for some reason I just don't like Donnelly. But uh, I think I dragged on this video long enough. If I had to rate this Naruto, he's obviously a 10 out of 10. He's perfect. I mean, my only complaint about the Naruto is, like I said earlier, is that he he gets weaker, the, you know, less amount of allies and teammates alive. So it just... Eh, and part of the reason he probably hit for that 7 million or that 700,000, whatever the number was, for the simple fact is it probably was because it was only one enemy on the field. Had it been a full, you know barrage of people it probably would have been higher speaking of which i guess i could run it in this real quick give me some let's play the money one real quick just real fast i just want to run through it real quick i just want to see what naruto could do speaking of shinobi blazing see this is what he did on him look at his oh no nah, his wasn't a thousand it was somebody who was a thousand whose was it man shinobi blazing swapped his gear i could have sworn it was shinobi blazing it was the one that had the thousand but uh, let's run this gear right here Let's run this one real quick. I just want to see what normals he can do since everybody he needs to have a whole bunch of allies and enemies on the field for him to hit harder. Okay, well, we're going to have to bust through this because this dude isn't going to hit as hard because there's only two. I need about five. So I need you. Okay, okay, okay. Looking good, looking good. Why is there only two of them? I could have sworn this one was the one that had five. Let me try to train him one after this one. he's running through it not to mention since these are weaker characters he's probably gonna run through it even faster look at godly naruto trying to show off and take over the showcase motherfucker get out of here nobody cares about you this isn't your showcase that's why you didn't even hit for over a million you ass all right hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on now hold on now don't hold on now god damn it let's beat up all right cool no stop asshole all right, mine is in the back. We buff all these skills. Then the godly Naruto do his other uh, thing. Did, did he do his thing? Thing. All right, come on, nah. Yeah, we should be good. Nah, let's go. Now let's see what he can do. Yeah, those are the numbers I wanted to see. All right, bet. That's what I wanted to see. So keep that in mind too, people. You need a full team and a full ally, not ally, but enemy team for Naruto to hit his maximum hardness. Like I said, that's something I don't like. So instead of a 10 out of 10, maybe I'll give him about a nine out of 10 because personally, I don't like that. I like a unit to hit. I need a unit with some consistency. I need him to constantly be hitting that, that level. So uh, I'm going ahead and end this video right here. I didn't drag it on long enough. You guys get the point. If you guys like this video, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, all that bullshit. This being your boy Blaze Hood. Peace out. Wait, hold on. I gotta change my background. Since Naruto's the new top unit, you know I gotta change the background. Hold on. Where the fuck is this Naruto at? God damn it. Yeah, bitch. Where you at? Down here? No, I ain't no shit down here. Where the fuck is he at? That's Munizo. Where's Naruto? God damn it. Yeah, bitch. Alright, now we gotta take his mama off here because that's just weird. Let's just, uh, is there another Hinata I can just add? Or I can just add Wedding Day Sakura, who cares? Yeah, boys. Yeah, now that's a more accurate background. All right, now I'm ending the video. Peace.